can see. It's almost 16, 15, 16 knots. Bow hai, that will go towards the wind. That will go towards the wind. माई चैनल फाइन इन टू नॉर्थ और आज का वीडियो मैं बहुत टाइम से बनाना चाहता था इनफैक्ट जस्ट पांच दिन पहले मैंने रिकॉर्ड भी किया था बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली उस वीडियो की क्वालिटी इतनी बेकार थी कि मैं उस पर कुछ कर नहीं पाया उसको यूज नहीं कर पाया सो हेयर आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू द सेम थिंग अगेन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन एजुकेशनल वीडियो इफेक्ट ऑफ विंड ऑन द शिप हाउ द शिप बिहेव इफ दर इज विंड फ्रॉम द साइड तो so, इसके लिए होने वाला है सो so, एंड तक जरूर देखना एंड प्लीज डू शेयर सो दैट मैक्सिमम पीपल कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इफेक्ट एंड हैव बेनिफिट ऑन ओके सो अभी फिलहाल एज ऑफ नाउ द विंड इज फ्रॉम द स्टाबर्ड साइड इफ यू कैन सी यहां पे सी हॉर्सेस बन रहे सो बेसिकली द विंड इज ब्लोइंग फ्रॉम स्टाबर्ड टू पोर्ट सो स्टाबर्ड साइड से विंड है यू कैन सी Almost 15, 16 knots. The bow hai, that will go towards the wind. That will go towards the wind. Now, why it happens is because all depends on the pivot point of the vessel. And to understand the pivot point, let me first explain to you a seesaw. To better explain, suppose this is a scale. This is the midpoint, somewhat. So, this is its center. This is the pivot point. Hai. So, you can see. ये जो सेंटर पे जो पॉइंट है एट विच दिस मूव्स इज द लेट मी शो यू इन डायरेक्शन ऑफ द विंड द पर्सपेक्टिव विल बी बेटर सो इफ द पिवर्ट पॉइंट इज वेर एक्जैक्टली माय थंब इज इफ द विंड इज पुशिंग फ्रॉम स्टाबोर्ड साइड द फुल शिप विल गो पैरलली विंड की डायरेक्शन में इफ द विंड इज फ्रॉम द पोर्थ साइड तो इस साइड जाएगी बट वेन द शिप इज मूविंग अहेड वेन द शिप इज मूविंग अहेड एट द फर्स्ट इंस्टेंस द पिवर्ट पॉइंट इज राइट अप यहां पर एकदम फॉरवर्ड में and eventually it will settle down somewhere close to 25% of the length from the forward somewhere here so as i told earlier now if the pivot point is here in the center and if the wind is pushing from the starboard side full ship will body the move to the port side but when the ship is moving when when there is a kick given ahead the pivot point shifts to right forward and eventually it settles down somewhere here 25% from the bow now this this length is almost 25% and this is 75% so that full force is divided in this 1 1 by 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 so this effect this area is got a larger larger fulcrum larger area the wind is affecting and that because of this wind pushing this full area this this from pivot point till this turn this this turn moves to the port at the pivot point at the pivot point this thing is happening so when we are on bridge we we see the bow going towards the wind so this is what is happening when the wind is stronger when the wind is pushing and with the ship moving in a head direction the wind is pushing the area of the ship side on to the port side the stern is moving towards the port and the bow is going towards the starboard same thing will happen on the port side if the wind is from the port side if the ship is moving ahead 25% this area is only 25 and this one is 75% this full body the the board the stern from at the pivot point will go with the wind this direction and the ship will be moving at pivot point the stern will go towards the uh, with the wind and the bow will go towards the wind so this bow will be moving in this direction with the wind whenever the ship is moving ahead the bow will always go towards the wind so whoever is steering duty officer and the ab they should know how the ship is going to react when the wind is from either side yeah, that this information is well understood i am able to uh, make you understand what actually i wanted to tell and this knowledge was given to me by captain parinder pal singh and i really appreciate his efforts in teaching me uh, the basics 
of uh, Ship Handling. Thank you very much and keep watching.